Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nord. What we're going to do today is something amazing and I want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to Dibs Gaming. You guys will have heard his name a lot lately and that's because he has been finding some amazing easter eggs in the community, including the one we're going to take a look at today. And I can't wait to get into this because it's a pretty awesome easter egg to say the least. Like, I'm not going to do any spoilers or anything yet, but I'm going to show you guys what this is very soon in this video because it is just amazing amazing and it's kind of strange how it's taken us so long to find this out because this easter egg was right in front of our faces and it's the secret note which Jock Cranley or the ghost left for us which is on Mount Gordo. So it's going to be extremely interesting. I can't wait to show you guys what this is about and where you guys can find this. Before we get into this I just want to let you guys know I've got a really bad cold. I'm not too sure what's going on but my voice might sound a little bit strange in today's episode. I might look a little bit more tired and stuff but I assure you guys I'm just as hyper as ever and uh, I can't wait to get into this video. I'm gonna go over to Mount Gordo first so I think it's just up there. I think we're kind of close so let's go over there now guys and welcome to Mount Gordo. I'm sure you guys have seen this place. It's where the ghost spawns in. What time is it? It's currently 20 past 10 but what we're going to do is we're going to wait here until the ghost spawns in and I'm just going to refresh your memories because if you guys haven't actually seen the ghost thoroughly if you don't quite know what this easter egg is you definitely need to know this easter egg before I show you guys this note and oh boy I just I can't wait to show you this because either the ghost or Jock Cranley Evans one or the other they wrote a secret note for us I, I can't even make this up they literally wrote a secret note for us and it was in front of our faces the entire time it is crazy so where's the ghost where is the ghost come on 20 minutes to go 20 minutes to go guys if you have not dropped a like on this video make sure you guys do so smash that thumbs up button oh boy where Where's the ghost? Where's the ghost? I also, I want to apologize, honestly. This cold is just, it's really crazy. I've had it for a few days, but today is like really bad. It's not nice. I really don't like colds, but it's winter time and everyone seems to be getting them. So I've been caught out, guys. I've been caught out. But five minutes to go. Here we go. Where's the ghost? Where's the ghost? Come on, T. The ghost is going to spawn in any moment now. And where is it? There it is. There's the ghost. Okay, so the ghost has just spawned in. And as you guys can see, just underneath this ghost, it will actually say Jock written in blood. Okay, so the story goes that Jock Cranley, the person who you may have seen on billboards around GTA 5 and stuff, the rumor goes and the mystery goes is that he pushed his wife off the cliff and you can actually hear her scream as well. If you go down to the campsite just below around this time, you can hear her scream when she falls off the cliff. But the rumor has it is that Jock Cranley pushed his wife off the cliff uh, inevitably taking her out and then the ghost will appear between 11 o'clock to midnight every single day to try and remind people and get the message out that she was taken out and Jock Cranley is the person behind this but apart from this you don't actually see too much more information about this easter egg well guys there is actually another part of the game where Rockstar Games hint another clue into this easter egg and it is crazy because the ghost or Jock Cranley one or the other and there we go it just disappeared one or the other they left a secret note behind and let's go over to that note now, guys, but oh man, I can't wait to read this note because it will explain so much more about this Easter egg and so much more about this mystery. Can we still see the jock written on the rock or do we need to wait? until 11 p.m. again. I think we need to wait again. I'm going to change the time and maybe that will work. Yes, it works. Okay, so if we take a look down here, you can see the ghost is right in front of us and the ghost has now just disappeared. But if you take a look under the ghost, you can see Jock written in blood on the stone. And this is a reference to Jock Cranley, the person responsible for pushing her off the cliff, which, as you guys can see, is pretty steep. And of course, if you guys want to ante up this Easter egg, all you need to do is stand down there and you will hear screams coming from your area from the ghost uh, as she falls off the cliff when Jock Cranley pushed her. So it's pretty awesome, this Easter egg. One of the biggest Easter eggs in the game. But this Easter egg is about to get a whole lot bigger. So in order to do this, we need to go over to one of the Strangers and Freaks missions. This one. This one right here. We need to go right here, guys. So yeah, I'm going to set my waypoint right there. <laughs> Some of you guys might recognize this Strangers and Freaks mission uh, because of the certain location where it is. But if you guys don't recognize it yet, you definitely will especially if you have played GTA 5 campaign because it's not the most famous or memorable one but I believe Rockstar Games included it in their trailer as well so it definitely has some significance and many of us wondered why it was so significant to Rockstar Games 
and this is the reason why because there is actually a secret hidden easter egg in this strangers and freaks mission and it is crazy so let's go over there now guys i can't wait to get into this i need to try and find a car somewhere oh dear oh boy i think all we have to do is follow this road down i think so yeah definitely we just need to follow this road down so let's just follow this down and <laughs> We're so close. I can't wait to show you guys what this is. And I did do some double checking before I did this video. And this is 110% unique to this location. And this Easter egg, it's just crazy. I can't wait to show you guys this. So we need to go over this crossing. We need to go straight across. And then we should go down into some houses. We should do. Hopefully. Where are the houses? Where are the... Wait, where are we going? Where are we going? Are we still on the right tracks? No, we completely missed it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, let's, let's go back. <laughs> We completely missed the turning. Oh, boy. I can see it. It's just down there next to the park. Okay, so we need to go down here, and we need to follow this road down. And eventually, you will see two people searching in some bins. So, let's just go down here. Just to show you guys once again, this is the location. You need to do this Strangers and Freaks mission. And coincidentally enough, I don't think you can replay this. Like, Rockstar Games only let you do this once and only once. Because I checked on a 100% game save, and I couldn't find it in my Strangers and Freaks mission. But I could find all of the other ones related to this. So, I don't think you can replay this. This is the only time you can do this, which makes this one even more suspicious. So, let's go and check this out. Where are they? It's Nigel and Mrs. Thornhill. That's the people we're looking for, guys. In in case you're wondering it's nigel and mrs thornhill and where are they where are they oh i can see them i can see them they're just over there they're just they're searching in the bins i'm gonna get out of my car so you guys can see this but oh boy let me put the subtitles on as well so you guys can read this as well subtitles there they are okay put them on okay good so there's nigel and mrs thornhill searching in the bins and here we go okay it's just starting it's just starting a treasure that's a perfectly good sock just ignore us yeah don't mind us <laughs> Okay. You're not I love this scene. Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work! Woo! Oh, <laughs> stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Trevor Mrs. looks Thornhill. so confused. Snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. What? Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, maybe something oh. like this. Oh. Or like oh. that. Huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? Andrew. You like that? Oh. Stop. Oh. Please. Oh. Hey. What? Oh. Hey. Oh. Mm. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not men. We're, We're not, not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like one of the weirdest scenes ever. But for those of you guys wondering, these guys, they basically search in, in the bins of celebrities because they want to try and find trash which they've thrown out and stuff. But when that scene was triggered, it was kind of interesting how those two are like the only two people to ever discuss Jock Cranley as if they were searching in his bins or something. Like they were trying to find something from Jock Cranley. And that's the only hint Rockstar Games give us about Jock Cranley. So this could potentially be Jock Cranley's house because they were on the same topic they were in the same mindset they were searching in his bins and when someone approached them they were like oh that's got to be jock cranley because he's approaching his house and yes we might look like jock cranley yes okay maybe trevor looks kind of similar to him not really at the same time it's really weird that rockstar games put them on that one topic of hey let's talk about jock cranley randomly so the people searching through these bins must have been searching through jock cranley's bins in gta 5 which means this is where jock cranley lives and once again Again, to give you guys that recap, Jock Cranley is the person who pushed his wife off the cliff, thus creating the Mount Gordo ghost. But this is the other thing. When we walked up to them in the bins, they were distracted and they walked away from the bins and then got onto another line of topic and they said, hey, do this for us, etc, etc, and they walked off. So they didn't thoroughly search the bins. But if we take a look inside these bins and see what they were looking at, and yes, guys, believe it or not, there is actually something inside here. If you take a look inside, you can see a secret note inside the bin. I'm not too sure if you guys can see that, but it's literally right there, just down there. 
And if we take a look in this one, you can't see it. The note isn't there whatsoever. It's just not there whatsoever. It's only in this one bin. And if you guys try and zoom in, you can kind of make out it does actually say some stuff on this note. You can see random words. You can see loads of sentences. You can see so many things on this note as if it's a letter coming from Jock Cranley or Jock Cranley's wife who was pushed off the cliff. Either way, this is a secret note left by one of them which may hold clues to this easter egg and I think it's an awesome way of putting these easter eggs in the game because believe it or not Rockstar Games they actually included an entire map of their next game in one of the bins like it's crazy and something else I want to let you guys know is this is a special bin because if you guys take a look at every single bin in GTA 5 it will say similar things for example this one says Rockstar North 28 10 78 and you will see it on other bins as well let's try and find another one around here let's try and find another one you will see pretty much the same thing on every single bin is there one down here let's see there has to be a bin down here it's someone else's house oh man now we're searching for bins okay <laughs> it's gotten to this level if we take a look at this bin though let's take a look at this one you'll be able to see the same thing yeah once again rockstar north 28 10 78 this one rockstar north 28 10 78 etc 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 all the bins are the same if you guys take a look around gta 5 the majority of them will have the exact same code on and i'm not too sure exactly what this code is i think it's the birthday of someone who develops gta or something like that like one of the main guys who made this game i think it's one of their birthdays but if you take a look at this specific bin and take a look at this you will notice that it's actually different instead of saying Rockstar North, it says Rockstar Games Edinburgh, RCG EDI, 021277. A totally different date, a totally different Rockstar Games office. I haven't actually seen an entire bin which says Rockstar Games Edinburgh before. So this bin is a special bin. It's only designed for this one note, which is crazy. And if you take a look inside, you can see that note right there outside Jock Cranley's house in his bin. So that note was a secret note written by one of them, which will explain so much more about this easter egg, and I think it's just an amazing easter egg. So if you guys want to go and explore this for yourself, you guys totally can do. Right now, I am in the process of trying to fetch up this note in the game files, because I want to read it myself, because right now, it's not really in the best quality to read it, everything's a little bit blurred, but if you find it in the game files, you will be able to read this and find out exactly what this is. So right now, I'm in the process of doing that, but I thought to may as well share this easter egg with you guys, because I think it's awesome, and there's literally a secret note left by Jock or the ghost or someone who knew what happened. But what I do know is Mr. and Mrs. Thornhill, they were searching through these bins and when we approached, they automatically thought we were Jock Cranley because we looked like him and of course they were searching through Jock Cranley's bins. Because why else would they assume Jock Cranley is just approaching them in the streets? It has to be his house. So I'm amazed it's taken us so long to find this easter egg because it's a pretty cool easter egg and it was literally in front of our faces the entire time. Time. And once again, guys, if you don't believe me that these bins are like extremely rare, like I've literally seen none of them around GTA 5 whatsoever, go and check it out for yourself. Look at every single bin you can find, and I guarantee most of them, 99% of them, from what I know and from what I can see, won't be these kinds of bins. They will all be the same. Let's go up the street and let me show you guys once again. If we go and take a look at some other bins, oh man, but that is Jock Cranley's house, which is pretty cool. So at least we know where he lives now. Rockstar North 281078. Rockstar North 28 10 78. So right now, it's just basically a time game to try and find out exactly what this note says. But the moment I find out what it says, guys, I'm going to let you know straight away because I want to know what this note says. So unfortunately, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. But if you did enjoy today's episode, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. That would, of course, be absolutely amazing. I recommend you guys also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis. And once again, guys, go and check out Dibs Gaming. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. He's an absolutely awesome person. I recommend you guys go and check him out. He finds some of the best easter eggs in the community. So once again guys, go and check him out. I'll leave a link to him in the description below. And of course guys, if you want to add anything else to this easter egg, if you want to let me know anything else you guys may know, let me know in the comments section below alongside anything else you would like to see me do on my channel. And you never know guys, your idea might make it into another video. But guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. Awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.